This is a follow-up information regarding the election that is coming up on Sunday in Luxembourg. Being a foreigner here or not having a passport yet or not being nationalized yet in Luxembourg doesn't mean that we don't have to know what is happening in our environment. And because of this, I brought to you 11 facts about the municipal election that is coming up on Sunday. On 11 June, voters across Luxembourg will head to the polls to select their municipal representatives. Here are the 11 facts that we need to know. And in actual sense, I think you've seen the Luxembourgish version of this report. Please watch it. If you understand Luxembourgish, you will actually enjoy it. Number one. The result for the Council of Haldeman and Stad Bremers and Nomering have already been confirmed after too few candidates joined the election list in Nomering. Sophie Diderich was elected mayor at the age of just 24, becoming Luxembourg's youngest mayor in history. 2. 38.5% or 1,483 of the 3,847 candidates are females. I think I said that in, in my last report. You can listen to it. 61.2% are male. 60% of the parties have a 40% proportion of female candidates this year. Number three, is there a dress code for voting in, in municipal elections? Not in Luxembourg. You could even vote in your pyjama if you wish. Number four, the poster. The poster vote has soared in Luxembourg this year with 59,596 voters registered for a postal voting slip. The last municipal election counted just 20,753 postal votes. Number five, voting will take place in 102 municipalities this year. However, due to the mergers between gross booths and Wal, and Baus, and Wal de Bremos, there will be just 100 municipalities in the country after Sunday. Number six, 10 percent of candidates of this year do not have Luxembourgish citizenship. The CSB party has the smallest number of non-Luxembourgish candidates compared to pirate parties which has most foreigners, most foreigners as candidates on their list. Number seven, the average age among this year's candidates is 48. Number eight, the youngest candidate will be 18, 18 years and three days, three days old on the day of the vote, while the oldest candidate is 85 years of age. Number nine, Due to Luxembourgish compulsory voting laws, every Luxembourger aged between 18 and 75 must participate in the vote. Anyone who fails, who fails to do so could risk a fine of 100 euro to 250 euro. Number 10. This year is the first time that non Luxembourgers aged over 18 will be able to participate in the vote. Foreign nationals in Luxembourg were granted the right to join in the municipal elections, provided they registered prior to the election. Anyone who is, who is registered and compelled to vote in accordance with the Luxembourgish law. 11. Even prisoners with a place of residence in Luxembourg must participate in mandatory vote, voting, provided they have not been stripped of the right to vote 
as a result of their sentence. Inmates can register for poster vote from penitentiaries. These are just the facts that we need to know. Like I promise, I'll be carrying you along, informing you about any information I got regarding the, the municipal election that is coming up on Sunday. Being a foreigner here or being a non Luxembourger, a non passport carrier, doesn't mean that we don't have to know what is happening in our environment. We can vote now, we can be voted for now. Let us encourage our children to join political parties right now from their younger age so that they can also help this country. They can also become leaders here. They can also help to move the country forward. Let us all join the, a political party so that at least we are, we are living will be part of the system as well. So, I don't want to hear complain. If you are not there, then you are nowhere. So don't complain about it. You have to join in to move the nation forward.